this is my smart Caribbean. It's my show again. Those of you guys following me, I'm in an insurance and real estate business. And time to time, to time I have very special guests. I'm very excited to introduce my guest for today. Uh, I know this guy very short period of time, but I did follow some of the work he does and I was actually very impressed. So I'm honored to introduce my uh, guest for uh, today's show is Jerry Hanesian. Jerry, welcome. Thank you, and Mike. Thank you, you know, for uh, accepting my invitation. I know your bu- uh, your schedule is very busy, so uh, I appreciate the time you're putting with me. Thank you for uh, reaching out and thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, the support coming from you. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, I'd like to first, if you don't mind, uh-huh. uh, just speak really quickly about uh, sure. the incident that happened this morning. Uh, sure, sure, Oaks. go ahead. I li- I like, uh, it just really you know, touched me. So before we start, if you don't mind. In the morning, minute, I said. Yeah, yeah, I just want to, uh, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers are to the families, uh, those that lost uh, their, their kids yeah, and loved yeah. ones. I uh, believe 12 or 13 people, yeah, right? Yeah, it okay. just, just today really, really mm-hmm. kind of touched me and, and you know, and uh, really bothered me. So I like mm-hmm. to... You know, our, our thoughts and prayers uh, Absolutely. Uh, to May the God families. Bless those families. Yeah, and help just them. a really bad situation, and just yeah. uh, you know, we we got to stop this. But uh, just wanted to throw yeah. that in before yeah, yeah, we started. Yeah. And I think you know that's going to lead to the point that every day that we wake up, we should be thankful to God. You know, Definitely. some people didn't wake up today, and that's why that's enough reason. I always say, you know, that's a perfect reason to be happy in life. You know, so. Definitely. I appreciate bringing that up. So let me go ahead and introduce uh, Jerry Hanesian a little bit. I know you've been, you know, an entrepreneur from young age and uh, in a sales world more than 20 years. Why don't you tell a little bit your story? What leads you there and sure. what happened? So a little bit introduce yourself. Uh, born and raised in Glendale. Uh, grew did up you went to Glendale High? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay. I, I went to Crescenta Valley. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I grew up in a, in a, in a very supportive and loving uh family mm-hmm. um both both parents very supportive both brother two older brothers very supportive mm-hmm. both uh, also entrepreneurs mm-hmm. um and uh growing up in in the family where you know it was um you had to go to school traditional had to get good grades okay. yeah you know it was hoping to be you know the doctor lawyer and uh <laughs> you know un- unfortunately unfortunately in my case that didn't happen, but then other things occurred where it drove me to jump into the sales field, uh-huh. um, where I was kind of thrown into it years uh-huh. ago, uh-huh. Uh, over 20 years ago, uh-huh. um, but I'm still very young. Uh, <laughs> and um, from that, it just I got thrown into the, into the fitness industry, uh-huh. into the construction industry, and I just saw over the years that sales was my thing. It was something yeah, yeah. I, w- I became very passionate about. That's what and you enjoyed. made a career out of. Yes, okay. yes. I, you know, I, I realized that it's, you know, as a salesman, you're actually helping somebody. Yeah. You're, you're helping them. You know, you're, you're, you're not just selling them a, you know, whether if it's an air conditioning unit or a, um, a gym membership or, yeah. uh, uh, you know, uh, glasses. Yeah. You're selling them the problem that they need solved. Yeah, yeah, I agree, and and. Yeah. Uh, Completely agree with you. You know, uh, you know, I've been in sales a little bit less than you, actually, 16 years, and you're very absolutely right that whatever sales you do, people really need it. And if you do it from care, and if you educate them, and like you said, if you help any problem that person has, it's a win-win situation. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, those of you who are watching and gonna uh, follow us on the social media as well, any questions you guys have? Write it down. We're going to come back to it. And also you see the information because Gary is a uh, is an entrepreneur. He does a couple of different projects. So visit his website as you guys can see. And from there, any questions you have, you know, they can reach you through email, right? You're yes. big in social media. I mean, every time I go to Facebook, I see uh, especially uh, actually the Instagram. Yeah. You keep popping up, which is exciting. I, I follow a lot of your work, actually. Some of the videos that I saw really motivated me to uh, focus on my uh, health and my fitness. So thank, thank you. you for that. You're welcome. Sounds good. Now, uh, I want to go back a little bit uh, because my, my goal is for today's show is uh, there's a lot of people going to watch. And, and when I see people who are young but yet not motivated, maybe confused in their life, what would you advise to those young kids 
that uh, they don't know what to do. What what did you figure out that helped you to stay focused and really go after what you want out of life? That, that's a really, really good question. Um, and I get asked this quite a bit mm -hmm. from... Um, from you know the the followers I have on my Instagram through or to uh, some of the kids at the gyms that I uh, speak uh -huh. for and uh, or anywhere. Um, Be because I, sorry to cut you because okay. in our culture Armenians right we take care of our, our body, but that's not. I hope that was the case. But a lot of us as a culture, you know, I think we should pay attention to our fitness a lot more. Of course, you know? health health is a is a, is is a very very big thing. Because yeah. if you're not healthy, your mind won't be right. You yes. know, if you're not physically fit, mm -hmm. how are you going to be there for your children, or are you going to be able to uh, move in mm -hmm. the in the in you know, at work in the direction of you know uh, you know to get ahead. Yeah. Um, you need that energy. You for definitely sure. need yeah. to be healthy uh, physically, mm -hmm. which then will create you to be healthy mentally, yeah. you know. Uh, but but back to your question and something, you know, mental health, physical health, um, a lot of the issues I come across uh -huh. with the youngsters uh, these days that I'm, I'm getting to know and, and listening to their comments and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, is they're not mentally ready for the world. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's something from the from school that, the you know, our, our school system is not, uh, teaching designed, correctly uh -huh. or designed properly to learn, you know, for example, how to be an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you know, is, is to, uh, I've realized and I've, you know, I've graduated, I have my bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. um, you know, and in, in sales, you don't really need a degree. It's mm -hmm. more of something to back up. It's more of the experience that you need as yeah. a salesman. Mm -hmm. uh, but you need, you know, for the youngsters out there, they need to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't have a purpose, then you won't be driven to achieve the goals that you Got it. want. You know, is it, you know, in a lot of these, these youngsters these days, it's all about the car they drive. It's yeah. all about the, 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 the jewelry uh -huh. or, or the, you know, where they're going to go, where they're living, you know, how big your house is, you know, or nowadays it's how many followers they have, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and, you know, all that doesn't matter. I don't care about how many followers I have. I really don't because if you go after your purpose, all these good stuff exactly, will follow you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's you know, you want to have a purpose and you want to give without expectation. Yeah. You know, but you need to have a purpose. And uh, it, I was just writing a script um, for my next video, and it's funny you you bring this up. Is uh -huh. you know your your you have your DNA uh -huh. is not set already. Yeah. You know. Uh, and it's something, you know, these basketball players who, you know, the LeBron James, yeah. you know, yeah, they, they, they have they have the talent, but it's their dream. It's yeah. in their, their DNA is in their dream, yeah. you yeah. know. So and you have to have purpose. And on top of that, you add the work ethic, exactly. the focus, you know, the discipline and exactly. all that. You have, to be, it's, it, the, you have to be driven. And when you have that goal and mm -hmm. it's in your heart and your mind, mm -hmm. you'll be driven, mm -hmm. you know. But if, you're, if you don't have a purpose, if you're just... You know, do you want you want to be a policeman just to be just to wear the uniform? Do you want to be a fireman just to wear the uniform to be cool? Yeah. You know, do you want to be an entrepreneur to just just say you have money? Yeah. You know, yeah. you got to have a purpose. Bigger you know, you got that. like yeah. my my purpose yeah. is my family. Yeah. You know, is my kids. You know, my wife. It's I wake up every morning driven because I want to be comfortable. Yeah. You know, there's there's a saying I read is when you know. And it, it, it relates to money, but to me, I look at it differently. It's when you go to a restaurant uh -huh. and you open the menu, uh -huh. which side do you look at? Yeah. <laughs> the left side or the right side? Some people come from, you know, right to left. <laughs> right. But you want to be in this state where you don't, you want to look at the left side. And that yeah. doesn't mean you have to have a lot of money because you don't care about the money. It's, yeah. you, it's the purpose. Yeah. You know, you want to be driven to where you, you know, your goals are set. And you're you're just waking up, moving forward every day. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and you know, sometimes when I work with different people myself too, people have this mindset of you know you gotta have you gotta come from wealthy family or you gotta have special talent. And like you said, I believe those things doesn't matter. It, 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 it's all about you putting yourself in the right environment. Right. I heard this saying a long time ago: you are a product of your environment. Of course. And and. You know, we, we haven't, you know, connected 
uh, closer yet, but why we click fast? Because our mindsets work similar. Right. And that's what happens. It's all about, you know, putting, positioning yourself in an in a environment to grow. And a lot of times when somebody wants to grow, they, they go and take advice from somebody who's not successful. And that's, they end up even killing their dreams. Right. So, Well, that, that, you know, comes to your circle of influence. Yeah. You know, it's who you're hanging around with. Yeah. You know, who's, who's uh, mentoring you. Yep. You know, who's giving you the advice. Yeah. You know, if the person who's giving you advice is not doing what you want to do, mm-hmm. then you shouldn't get advice from them. You know, and sometimes, yeah. unfortunately, it's your parents who are giving yeah. you the advice. Yeah. <laughs> and their advice is the old fashion, fashion scarcity you know, it's, mindset, exactly, you know. Exactly. It's, it's, it's okay to work for somebody. It's, it's okay to have a, you know, a job and, that, you know, um, you know, Maybe a government job that's you know pays you you know mm-hmm. let's just say seventy thousand a year mm-hmm. you know and it's a steady well you know nowadays that's not that won't cut it it's gonna leave paycheck you know? to paycheck yeah and that's why it comes back to that purpose you know what's your purpose in life yeah. you know it's uh, your circle of influence your purpose um, all these things come together and for these youngsters they mm-hmm. need to realize mm-hmm. that it's not about you know. How many likes you have on your mm-hmm. on your social media? It's not about how many um, you know how expensive your car is. Yeah. You know that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. it's what you know. What's your purpose in life? Yeah. Is it you know if, if you're having if your purpose is fancy cars, then you better be in the car business. Yeah. You know because yeah. you're marketing yourself yeah. and you're branding that you're in the car business. But That's if you're if it's something else. You need to have a better purpose. Got you it. know, you need to have that. You know, a lot, of, a lot of these kids these days, they don't have a dream. They don't have that goal. Yeah. You know, your 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 DNA, which is your future, is is in your dream. Yeah. You know, if you're not waking up to it, yeah. you're not going to get it. Yeah. Now, Jerry, I want to ask this question. Some people might, you know, uh, watch this and say, you know what? I was passionate, I was motivated, but I keep failing or I failed, and they stop. What would you tell those people? I mean. I would say keep trying, keep failing. <laughs> you, you're gonna keep get failing. closer, right? You're to gonna your get dream. closer. Yeah. You think, you know, you think the the guy, you know, um, uh, all these, you know, the Amazon guy. Uh, um, uh, I can't. I'm going blank on his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or, or uh, you know, Jeff App, Bezos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or um, you know, Apple or all these guys. You think you think they tried two, three times and they made it? Yeah. You're gonna fail. Yeah. You know, it's it's a ladder. Yeah. You're gonna just you just gotta get up, you know, keep going. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. uh, you know. I, I always say, you failed, great. Uh-huh. Fail again. Fail again. You know, no. you're only learning. As, you know, if you fail and you keep failing, but you're not learning from the experience, uh-huh. that's one thing. That's not correct. Yeah. And these are things that we coach a lot and we help. You know, from a company to a individual is, uh-huh. you know, okay, you're trying to do. You know, your mark. You spent a hundred thousand on marketing this month, but. Your, your return was zero, you know, so let's give up. No, yeah. you got to keep trying. Things, sure. things happen with consistency. Yep, yep. And, and look back, see maybe what are the areas you need to improve. Of course, yeah, of yeah. course. Uh, I'm a big fan of reading books. What is the sum of the books you've read that really helped you? Well, let me ask you, what, what, what's your top two uh, books? Well, automatically, you know, after the Bible, I'm a big fan of following God. After the Bible, the most great book that I read is The Think and Grow Rich uh, by Napoleon Hill. And some of the books I read, it's from uh, Jim Rohn, oh, yeah. uh, uh, John C. Good. Maxwell, that talks about a lot about leadership uh, skills. And I think in any uh, person who wants to be successful, they have to also work on becoming a great leaders. Because right. if you become a good leader, people going to follow you. And any big success, it's all about teamwork. So. Right. So, um, that's a great, great answer yeah, and great yeah, books. Yeah. I haven't read all of them, but a few I have. Uh-huh. Uh, for me, you know, growing up, and I, I shouldn't be saying this, especially live, <laughs> uh, but you know, through high school, college, I probably read about three books. And, and that's the average. That's yeah, fine, but, but that's very uh-huh. bad. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just being honest. Yeah. I want to say over the last two years or three uh-huh. years, I've read probably close to 50 books yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and a lot more via audio yeah, you yeah. know audio, uh, ver- audio yeah, yeah, yeah. version 
uh, or, or a lot of YouTube. I yeah. probably, you know, every morning I watch a good 30 minutes of YouTube uh -huh. from some of my favorite speakers uh -huh. while I'm doing my exercise, you yeah. know. Yeah. But top books, um, when it comes to business, uh -huh. of course, obviously the Bible's the most powerful book in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't read all of it. Yeah. I've read portions of it. Yeah. But, you know, every day I'm, I'm up, I set 15 minutes so I, I meditate. Yeah. Where and that doesn't mean I'm laying out my eyes closed, my you know my hands, my my legs crossed. No, it's sitting alone, uh, no TV on, no laptop, no iPad in front of me, yeah. no phone, just and I just I drink and, my coffee yeah. and I focus and I say, okay, what am I gonna do today? Yeah. You know, how many calls am I gonna make today? Yeah. How many people am I gonna influence today? Mm -hmm. How many people can I build today? Mm -hmm. You know, and then it's how many sales can I close today? Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, and if I said, well, I'm only going to speak to 10 people today, then I will make sure I speak to 11. Yeah. That extra, that push. extra, yeah. that extra push because difference. I need to, yeah. I need to be that overachiever for myself yeah. because then it's for my family. Yeah. You know, that's why I'm a big believer. A lot, lot of times people go into this competition, eh? you know, this guy does better and they go into, I think the best competition is beating your prior best. Yeah. If you do that, by default, you're going to, you know, beat the competition yeah. also. You know that saying for a baseball player, you're only as good as your last bat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So you're only as good as the last time you went up, yeah. you know, or you're only as good as your last sale. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, you're in, you're, you're, you're in the real estate, yeah. correct? Real estate and insurance. In yeah. Insurance. When you sell a home, that's not it. Yeah. You want on the next sale, you want to, you want to get a, you want to hit a bigger, uh, uh, yeah. sale don't yeah. you uh, why because you get that return for you is larger yeah. Yeah. so you're only as good as your last sale or performance, performance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it, and if you're not in sales if you're you know if you're in production or you're in you know you're 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 working a job where you're working for somebody you know that doesn't mean you're just going to be average yeah. you still got to be the overachiever yeah. because someone will identify that Absolutely. and somebody will open up a door for you absolutely you know? absolutely i agree well uh, jerry uh, the time is up thank you for your time uh, You're welcome. i think uh, if, uh, if the opportunity comes to do another show, show i'll be happy to do one again with you again guys uh, my guest was entrepreneur jerry hanesian he's into sales and fitness and he does have other projects that he does for more information visit his website and then keep in touch with him he'll be happy to assist you any way he can Just last words, what would you say? Because we the 2018 is closing. It's only less than maybe a month and a half or so left. Some people start the year with the goals and dreams. Maybe they fall back. Some people, they're like, you know what? They're going to push all the way. How do you close your year? I would say, you know, you're, you're not, you're closing your year, but you should have your, your the next year. 2019 should already be planned. Yeah, nice. You know? Have the goal, set the goals down, have a create the purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to have, you know, make, like I said earlier, you know, your, your, your DNA is in your dream. Yeah. You know, your purpose needs to be identified for yourself in order for you to have the dream and then the goal, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, you know, I don't, you know, it's 2018 is ending. 2019 is going to start, yeah. but it's just another day. So no matter what it is, you need to work, you know, you need to give your, you know, 110% every day. Yeah, you know, I don't, New, New, New Year's Eve is just a day to have a, have a, you know, party, it's congratulate. A it's okay. a calendar day. That's all it is. Yeah. It doesn't mean the day after you're going to get more money or, or less money. Yeah. It's just another day. Yeah. 
You know, it's another day. Yeah, you know, we thank God to to be alive another day. Yeah. Yes, but it's in in the business world, it's just another day. So, you know, uh, set the goals, keep going, yeah. have the purpose, grind every day. Yeah. You know, and you know, uh, Mike, thank you. You know, for reaching out. You know, oh, I, I appreciate yeah. uh, the support. You know, uh, and uh, and the consistency. This guy, you know, I teach follow up and consistency. This guy has been doing that. He, he's following up, and I think that's great. Yeah. And th- I'm sure that's part of the re- one of the small, you know, reason why you're very, you know, you're successful. Yeah. Uh, so I appreciate you reaching out no and, and what you're doing, you know, and um, you know, you're doing good work. Yeah. So no, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you, Jerry, and thank you guys for uh, staying uh, with us on this program. Any questions, comments, throw it out there. We'll get back to you. And I wish you guys all the best. See you next time on the program. Have a good one. Take care.